Liverpool interdict 3v3. Wrath of Baal, blue team. It's wise window plays an apothecary support commander that fights in melee combat by the fort begins with a target heal and a passive health regeneration aura alongside Anomaly is a brother captain. Where's he gone? There he is. Big durable commander walks through cover and cannot be suppressed. Very good offense and support fights in melee combat. Rounding off the blue team is Guardsman 217th plays a Lord General fights range combat with his retinue of stormtroopers to help him out. Great defense and support capabilities. Red team, Commissar Vocaloid is a Chaos Lord, durable and destructive commander, walks through cover and cannot be suppressed, very good offense and disruption fights mainly in melee combat alongside Panic Check is another Lord General on the red team and rounding off the teams is Aguxes, plays a force commander, very good offense fights in melee combat can also tank, disrupt and support with buffs on Blood Ravens on show here. Apologies in advance if this map or this game is difficult to see or appears dark I can assure you it doesn't appear that way in game and it doesn't appear that way when I render my video it's when YouTube gets their hands on it and processes it they basically lower the quality of everything to save bandwidth I suppose and on these darker Space Hulk maps it really can adversely affect your ability to see but we'll try and muddle through also happens of Judgment of Carrion, of course, the other Space Hulk map. But the captain being a bully and chasing down Guardsman here. We do have a Sentinel up in mid from Panic Check. Guardsman 217 try and triple Guardsman. Something you only see in 3v3s, usually into a Chimera and then into a tier 3 rush for a Bane Blade. But we'll see Anomaly with double Stormtroopers up. And nothing else. Aguxes. With tactical marines, so we're going to lose the model here if they're not careful. And straight into Devastator. So we have a Space Marine Mirror on the east side. Apothecary versus Force Commander. A matchup that I think favours the Apothecary most of the time. A well played Apothecary in a way. Tactical marines not losing a model. Might get a heal soon as well. If it's not on cooldown, which it probably is. He's going to take back this node. Or at least try to. The Brother Captain is eventually persuaded to leave. Sentinel needs repairs and interceptors up very very quickly from Anomaly. That's going to be a pain in the ass. All he has to deal with that is the stomp. If it's baited then he's probably just going to be forced off. What can he do to interceptors in your face? Backed up bright by that brother captain and stormtrooper shooting at you. We might see double grenade launchers for these guys when we know how crazy those things are. Here are the devastators for Aguxes which prompts Assault Marines from Wise Windu. Maybe he was going to get them anyway. Wise Windu, by the way, is the guy who inputs all of the data on the Dawn of War.info codex. Massive props to him, does a great job putting all that info on. Because sometimes you want to know how much melee damage a Guardsman does. He's also helping get the next build of Elite Mod out, doing some modding and stuff. We have a whole team now working on it instead of Poor Lulgrim having to do everything himself. There's a group of modders, two or three or four modders, trying to get the next build up and running. And yes, they are working on it, guys, and it is coming soon, TM. There's the Immolate from the Chaos Lord getting all three Guardsman squads into it. Poor positioning play there from 217th. He's got a heavy weapon squad, so he does have a 1.5 unit up at least. Double Sentinels for Panic Check. That's a late Sentinel purchase. Commissar Vocalo with some Noise Marines, a great choice. Versus Guardsman, Infantry Heavy Squad, Noise Marines are just so powerful against that. Here are these Assault Marines who have lost the model. We're most likely going to see the Thunder Hammer then to respond to those Assault Marines in Tier 2. Grenades on Retreat Path, miss. Mainly miss. Did they take a Tactical Marine model or did he lose it early? I'm not sure. Now the Force Commander, oh he's not even going to bother trying to tie things up, he's just going to run away. Here are the Interceptors supported by the Mantle of Terror's Canticle of Absolution which gives them that extra energy regen and prevents ability usage which could be incredibly useful versus the Stomps but there's one of them. Interceptors are a teleporting infantry unit which is every bit as awesome as it sounds, they can teleport right on your face like that and really catch you off guard and wipe squads quite nicely also great 
for catching things in retreat. Trying to finish off this Sentinel here. Storm Bolters firing as they chase. And there's a melee attack, but it's a special attack. Which misses the Sentinel, but it does go down. And they turn to engage some Guardsmen, but can't really do anything and run away. And look at that double there from Guardsman 217th. Comes in to support the Grey Knights. And forces off panic check big time. Purgation squad on the field with these incinerators. Flame of weapons that suppress their targets. 439, 485. Double sniper scouts here for Aguxes. Those guys forced off down to one model. These guys are supported by the Devastators. That's nice play. But there's the jump. They were just within range to be able to do that. There is a minimum range on the Assault Marine jump. There's a grenade. But they do run away and they eat a grenade themselves. It's throwing caps with grenades. But they carry almost level 2. It's doing well. You see that health regeneration aura on those tactical marines. Those green hexagons. Now he's out of range though. And the range was reduced semi-recently on that health regeneration aura from 25 down to 20 I believe. Does affect all of your allies there. It really is a strong passive. Especially when you combine it with other health regen that you can get from beacons or brood nests or land raiders and stuff. Bunkers also. Sentinel with stomp for panic check. He now has Catechon Devils on the field. Very versatile melee squad that can counter melee units, disrupt, support with a smoke grenade and hurt you pretty bad as well really. Have power melee damage and some shotguns. Here are those double scouts. There are some really, really tight passages on this map that you can use to flank and jump over and catch stuff out. Can make it very difficult to do head-on fights. Which is what these Space Marines are mainly doing here. I haven't seen much flanking from these players. I suppose, I suppose Space Marines don't have much in the way of flanking potential apart from perhaps Assault Marines catching stuff off guard or some scout grenades and stuff. It's usually quick melee units that you want to be flanking with, or melee units in general. Heavy weapon squad with that heavy bolt up. And there is the Canticle of Absolution. Where is the Brother Captain? There he is. 439, 443. Does share an effect with the Holy Pyre from the Inquisitor. But it doesn't actually do damage to you like that thing does. Guardsman here from Panic Check. Do we have any... No, grenade launchers from Vocaloid. That's surprising against what 217th has. Trying to take back their power here, blue team. Look how far back they are pushed. Wow, just looked at the map and realized how much of it red team have. 423, 443. It's not looking good for blue team, is it? Fierce back and forth on the east side. No, neither player able to get a clear advantage over here, it seems. We have snipers of both players there. Grenade launcher barrage from the stormtroopers. Chaos Lord runs away. Interceptors jumping into a whole bunch of trouble. There's double heretics there. Doom blasts going off. And they're very lucky to get away with two models. Pachetons. Very lucky to have that medipack at hand from the Lord General's sergeant retinue member who can hand out medical packs. You saw that big heal go off on them there. 397443 for the captain level 2 runs away red team continue the massive amounts of pressure they're putting on the center of the map especially two players here basically locking it down and it looks like 217th is going to try and take advantage of that by pushing the west side maybe even stealing this power no he's going to bash it maybe he should have stole it because they don't have much power this is locked down. They've repurchased all of this. But surely he should have stole it here. 377443. His heavy weapon squad is tied up. He needs to realise this. He's moving it away. Lord General is so great for tying things up early on. Really durable because of his retinue members. Who will all join him in melee. When he decides to go there of course. These purgation models really split up strangely. That could hurt them. This one is firing. And here comes the rest of 217th star. Noise Marines need to run away and they do get away okay. We do have the Lord General's grenade launchers, which for some reason gives him an ability to 
boost speed. I'm not sure how that correlates with the grenade launcher, but there you go. Move, 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 as it's called. 350, 443. What? I'm not sure what Aguxas is trying to achieve by sitting here with these Devastators. I mean, is he just protecting his power? Is he just happy to do that? He should be pushing on and trying to put pressure on his VP. Why would he have this sat here? Bring it up with you. He's just afraid of those assault marines and that sniper, I think. He does have the power sword on his force commander and does have the iron halo also. 328, 443. Tactical marine is taking damage. He seems obsessed with this power point. Sniper shot. Ouch. Almost took a model off those guys. Assault marines are going to jump. The devastators. Force Commander will chase them down, try and get a model, but Wise Window is there to heal. There it is. Trying to knock them down and give the Devastators the breathing room to set up again, but they couldn't do it. Tactical Marines need to run away as well. Can he get a model off these guys with that power sword? It's 50 DPS power melee, but will be reduced by melee resistance. Already, this Force Commander is done for. Down he goes. 309 443. That's a creeping barrage, yes. These guys backing away, and there's an immolator as well. Or an immolator, I should say. Interceptors do have their sergeant, gives them the awesome, furious intervention teleport, and they just used their crack grenade on that dreadnought, but it's okay. It's forcing melee combat now. Has its default auto cannon. This is Commissar Vocaloid's Ogrins on the field for panic check. Where are they? Here they are already have their bonehead leader heavy melee squad that can disrupt stuff 309-429 level 2 brother captain level 2 of brother carry no war gear still a level 1 lord general he just cancelled his vox operator and is going for melter guns level 2 kills lords down but he's going to be revived which levels panic check to 3 force commander still down over here but he levels to 2 while he's dead blue team trying to push back and they're doing so we have Anti-armor kit stormtroopers, really awesome anti-vehicle squad, one of the best I think. They can infiltrate, have a melter bomb as well, and each model gets a melter gun. Very, very powerful, potentially. Commissar Vocaloids wants some repairs, he has double heretics himself. Oh, it's out in the field, that's why. And he's not repairing it. He should get a bunker up here, surely. But, oh, you have one here, from Guardsman. Side cannons up for the purgation. Ogrins leading a line now and pushing pretty hard. We see a what is it called again? Fight harder buff. Those yellow markers on all these guardsmen is that fight harder. And these Ogrins are just tearing things apart. That is now a medical bunker, so all of this stuff can reinforce. There's the Canticle of Absolution. Algrin's losing a couple of models, including their bonehead leader, but they did pretty well there. Ouch, crack grenade on the Sentinel. That might, might be the end of the Sentinel. Yes, it is. 309-397. Wise Window with the flank here. Finishes off the Lord General, does he? Not quite. Gets all the retinue down, though. 309-397. Four hit points gets away. No Stone Guard veterans. Panic check lost a lot there. He's getting a Manticore now. Dreadnought on the field for Aguxes. He's just wants to go straight after those Assault Marines. And this is something you can do in Tier 2 with your Assault Marines. Use them to bait an entire army after them while you just shoot the crap out of stuff. 309-391. Assault Marines are such a prime target. Much like Banshees usually the entire army will just try and focus them down. You can take advantage of stuff like that. Wise Window has a Dreadnought of his own though. Is he gonna are any, one of these guys gonna get a multi-melter? Multi are so awesome for dreadnoughts. So he can just one shot a lot of models. Almost our vocal is tier three and is getting a predator tank tier three now for Aguxes as well. And that massive power advantage that red team have early on is now paying off get into tier 3 very very quickly in terms relative to the other players interceptors with that furious intervention 
knocking down all of that stuff but getting into trouble massive amounts of trouble Ogrins were there a dreadnought was and here the Ogrins going after the dreadnoughts of wise window and they put out a hell of a lot of heavy melee damage if all of the models are attacking look at this though nemesis force halberd is on the brother captain it's a splash damage power melee weapon the exact kind of thing you want to fight Ogrins with could have gone for the hammer and disrupted them but I'm not sure he has the massive amounts of DPS to then focus them down maybe if he does have the dreadnought alongside him he would but he's gone for the halberd straight up DPS this thing is set to get a cost reduction in the next update down to 35 power from 50 which it is now 304353 2 to 1 cap for the red team but blue team are right back in this Red team have repurchased any generators they lost here. And look at this, they have nine generators up. And the others haven't been touched, I don't think. What is this dreadnought doing? Chasing down this brother captain. Finish him off. Is he gonna finish him off? One more shot? No, doesn't want to. 296353. Assault terminators on the field for Aguxis. Wow, he has a strong roster. Has that melee dreadnought still around and he could get Dark Age of Technology for this guy in tier 3. Assault Marines jumping in over the bulkhead into those snipers. But there is the Emperor's Fist. Missile launcher tactical marine trying to finish off the dreadnought. He needs to back this guy away. Or not. Assault Terminator is using their teleport to tie them up and force them off. 296, 338 dreadnought backs away. Here is a Marco Zinch Chaos Predator. Has that twin link laser cannon on top. Very, very, very mean. Two large targets. And he's gone for some Mark of Corn Chaos Space Marines level 2. Alongside that level 3 Chaos Lord. Gonna try and decap mid. Should at least easily be able to do so. There's a Chimera up for Guardsman. Down goes that multi last turret. And red team retaking mid and looking pretty fierce, to be honest. They have a Chaos Dreadnought, they have a Chaos Predator bunch of other chaos stuff assault terminators and a manticore and a dreadnought and ogrins manticore strike oh look at it forces off all of that space marine stuff because it's such a tight passage you couldn't really dodge it could he blue team not giving up but red looking pretty strong even though panic check is lacking numbers that's a really wasted nuke he does have Ogrins, Catechons, and a Manticore, which is not bad at all. Might wipe those heretics, that nuke. Yeah, he just wiped his own squad, didn't do anything else. And down goes the Predator tank. Massive losses for Vocaloid. That was the last cannon there doing most of that work. With Fight Harder, perhaps, buffing it. I was paying more attention to the nuke than what the last cannon was doing, I'm afraid. Two dreadnoughts to deal with. Instead of assault terminators to deal with. And what are these tactical really trying to do? He's gonna lose the entire squad and he does. And looks is not paying attention. Some bad plays trying to trying starting to stack up from the red team now. 296, 323, dreadnoughts duking it out. And the red one goes down. And that was another loss for Agruxis. He does take down the brother captain, who is no, that wasn't a brother captain. It was the apothecary who used Laraman's blessing to get himself back to base. Interceptors going after the dreadnought with a crack grenade. Not sure if it's going to be enough, but here come purgation with side cannons, and that might finish it off. Being repaired, and here come assault terminators as well. Some good disruption on those heretics, and those heretics are wiped out. Two nine six three two three. Chaos. Dreadnought does live. Interceptor's also getting away okay-ish. What's that noise? It's noise marines. Level 3. Massive, massive losses for the red team. Vocaloid down to just 3 units. Aguxis losing his Dreadnoughts. He has a lot of resources though. Could get a Land Raider soonish. And in fact we do have a Land Raider Phobos from the red team. They just have so much power. They still have 9 generators up. Blue team either don't know that they have a full farm over here or are not too bothered about them having such a huge power advantage. 296, 309. Look at that, plus 69 per minute.
anomaly is in tier 3 and he does have 313 red so he's not too far away from getting a land raider crusader which I think are 350 red aren't they? Ogryn's level 2 for panic check. I've done reasonably well even if he hasn't preserved his other stuff. He does have some Kasakin now as well with melter guns. Not something you often see them get. We'll see how they do. 296, 287. Massive amounts of firepower coming out of this Guardsman Infantry Army. Not much snipers can do against that many models. Assault Terminator is not wanting to engage all of that stuff. And these are all Plasma Gun Guardsmen, I think, are they? Those guys are... Those guys are, yeah, three fully upgraded Plasma Gun Guardsmen supported by Fight Harder is painful for heavy and super heavy infantry. 296, 276, blue team locking down the mid, but they need to be wary of the flanks. VP is almost even. Blue team doing really well to keep their head and come back into this. Have pres just preserved stuff a lot better than red team so far. The Phobos is on the field. Massive super heavy vehicle with twin linked last cannons on the sponsors and a twin linked heavy bolter on top. Also has the dirge caster ability. But you do need to look after this thing. It's very slow and only 2,000 hit points and it's a massive target. Blue team trying to retake their natural and they will do so. Ogryn sourced off and there's a lot of stuff here to defend. Chimera given a mobile reinforcement point for blue team working out quite well for them. Scout sniper is going to try and decap mid. Is the sniper rifle going to fire? I suppose not. Must be facing the other way. 296, 276 steel. But now it's a single for red. Land Raider Edema on the field for Aguxis. The amount of stuff this guy's been able to get out. Dreadnought, Assault Terminators, and now a Land Raider Edema. How much power is that? Altogether. It's 160 power just for the Land Raider. 100 power for the Terminators. 120 power is it for the Dreadnought? Crazy. And they still have 9 gens up. You gotta keep pumping out all this massive stuff and absorb their losses. Phobos is now mid. Marcus Inch kills Dreadnought, which is a good choice, I think. That area of effect suppression can be very useful in situations like this. We might see a massive fight here. Manticore is still there. I haven't seen it do a lot. Is it leveled up? Not really. Land Raider Edema now coming mid. Twin needs Assault Cannon, Multi Melter, and Flamestorm Cannons. And we have the Brother Captain using Immortal to cap mid. Well, he might die anyway. Yes, doesn't last that long, Sonny. Creeping Barrage just trying to annoy things. Scouts actually retreating out there. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, they just retreated back to the Redeemer. My bad. Ready to push? Ask Panic Check. And it looks like they are. And this is going to be fun. 290, 276. It's still on the line. Something breaking out over here. Grey Knights killing some Noise Marines which are constantly bashing that power over there I think. Is it kicking off mid? Are they pushing? Looks like they are. Double Land Raiders going forward. Brother Captain goes down again. I think he was revived by a heal from the Apothecary. And massive engagement now. Dreadnought counter initiate and it's Ogryn's very very well. We were going to go down. Massive Manticore strike. Good grief. How much dead Guardsmen? All of them, I think. I think 24 Guardsmen went down there. Two of the squads. And some from the other squad as well. Vanguard veterans on the field. For Wise Window. Chimera getting shots. Here come the Kasakin. We'll see if they can do anything. Can he finish off these Kasakin? Not quite four hit points, and they live. Assault Terminators now want to get involved, going after the regular Terminators, but who have heavy flamers and teleport out. Did those Vanguard veterans go down? Yes, they did. And these Terminators got very, very low. So lucky to have three models here. 
Mark of Corn kills Space Marines chasing down the Chimera with that Melter pistol and all that power melee damage and they take it down. That is really well played by Vocaloid to go after that thing. Massive push by Red and they take mid. Those Land Raiders mostly untouched. A bit of damage on his Phobos. And there's an Imperial Abyss. The second one from Vocaloid. Kills the last cannon in that garrison I would think. Yes. Well, he is also hitting some allied assault terminators with lightning claws here. Are these guys going to die? Have they used their teleport already? No, they haven't. There it is. They should be able to get away. 264, 276, a 2 to 1 cap now for red team. Massive push in the mid. That Manticore strike was devastating. Killed two squads of guards and guards on 217th lost uh, he, his Ogrins as well. Were, were, these, he, were they these his Ogrins? I think they were Panic Checks Ogrins, weren't they? Yeah, he lost his Ogrins. Guardsman lost his Chimera, his Bunker, his Last Cannon, and two Gazel Squads, and now drops a Lehman Russ. Anomaly with some Paladins, giving a healthy generation aura to all of this stuff, and I, I don't think it, it, I think it's exclusive now, so it won't stack with the Apothecary's Health Regeneration, I think. Can they push, though, against double Land Raiders and a Manticore, ready to shoot anything that gets close? Very brave. Catatron is trying to take on the entire world. Needs to run away. There we have the move, move, move. Really nice speed buff there, as you can see. Canticle used for some reason. Why would he use it there? Phobos spinning around doesn't really make a difference since you can't get rear armor hits on a land raider. Lightning claws up on a chaos lord. Very, very scary power melee weapon. 100 DPS from these things. Then they do not have a splash, which is what these Terminator Lightning Claws have. 206, 276. Stormtrooper's gonna absolutely own. And he retreats. Why did everything retreat here? Oh, he didn't mean to retreat everything, apparently. Paladin's now just standing there taking shots with a wrist mounted psych and what are they doing? 190, 276, yeah you need to back the hell away. There we go. Actually having to use their teleport to get out there. And that is a point blank range. Let the galaxy burn. That was just a comedy of errors from Anomaly. Retreating his entire army by accident and then sending his paladins in to certain death if he didn't get them out there. 165276 double cap for red team and surely they can see this out how can blue team push against what they have mid terminators chased down by the force commander terminator who has a heavy flame of his own smacking them with their power fist every now and then it takes a model as well 142276 Look at this though, blue team stealing, red team's natural. That's pretty damn annoying. And the Devastators will take it right back. Mark of Corn CSM level 4. Catching them in retreat. He's actually used these guys quite well so far. What are blue team going to do? Is it worth them sending a sizable force down this west side and try to force red team to break away some of their stuff and defend it? 136275. Force Commander Terminator being a real nuisance here, but is eventually forced off, and the Terminators reinforce their lost model and come back out of base. And he gets away fine. 133275. A bunker here as well. A repair bunker at that to support these land raiders and this Chaos Predator that Vocaloid has got. He lost his last one, of course. What's this? Reinhardt Terminator's on the way for Anomaly. Not sure if it's going to help him. He should have got another Paladin squad because he needs to go after so many vehicles here. And where are those assault terminators? Here they are. No. Where are they? Oh, they must be inside the Land Raider. And they're going to shred apart those Paladins. It's 
especially since they're so low on health because they pushed earlier. Looks like blue team are ready to go. Mantigo strike. And it's all kicking off here. Mantigo going after the whirlwind. Only hits it once though. And fire from everywhere. What is this? Is that a rocket run? Or just a creeping barrage? I think it's a creeping barrage. Yes it is. And there's an orbital. Massive, massive engagement here. Brainite Terminator is moving in with their incinerator. That is a nasty rocket run. Ouch. Wow. Flamers from the land raider. Orbital goes off. There's another orbital. Down goes that Predator tank. I have no idea what's going on, but it looks very nice. And that's a really nicely hit orbital. Look at that. Gets the Terminators, the Purgation, and I think... Yes, the Stormtroopers are in there as well. That is painful. Chaos Lord also lifted. Boom. That stuff leveled up so it doesn't get instantly gibbed by the Orbital. It's been decapped, but Red Team still holding pretty damn firm here. That was awesome. That was really awesome. Guardsman 217th with just a Lehman Rust now. And Grey Knight Terminator is trying to get out of there down to one model. There's a Hell Fury and yet another Orbital Bombardment. This one. Trying to take down the Land Raider and a little blob that was around it. But the Land Raider survives. 96, 275. Wow. Lots of dead stuff, lots of stuff shooting it, lots of stuff. That's a 3v3 engagement for you. Brain out Terminators and Paladins both down to a single model, and that's not cheap to reinforce. 25 power for Paladins, how much are Terminators to reinforce? Not sure. Are you going to reinforce them, lad? Surely that's it now. 94, 275. Guardsman lost his Lehman Russ. And down goes that Dreadnought from the Phobos. Good grief. Let's get some more Guardsmen for some reason. Terminators cost 16 power to reinforce. Is that 16? Yeah. 81, 275. Do blue team have one last push in them? There's the third Imperial Abyss. How many nukes in this game? Like seven or something? That forces a full retreat. And blue team, I think, are done for. They might even get a triple cap here, red. There's the double. 64, 275. Bane Blade on the way for Panic Check. And that is the nail in the coffin. It's almost on the field as well. And there's the GG from Anomaly. Wise Windu did preserve his scouts and his marines. I think it should have gone double paladins. Blue team seemed to be preoccupied with trying to decap instead of fighting when they pushed. They should have gone straight after the land raiders with some nukes backing them up. That was the only chance they had, I think. Because of that redeemer there, reinforcing everything, giving that health regen. So difficult to push. But look at the bodies here. That was from the Manticores, I think. Look at them. That is crazy. They actually demolished the ground as well. More bodies mid. Awesome, awesome stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.